Welcome to Classical Kids Storytime. I'm Amit. A cello named Pablo. Hello there. No, down here. It's me talking to you, my young friend, not the gentleman behind me. Haven't you ever seen a talking cello before? No? Well, perhaps not. But I'm not just any old cello. I even have a name. Pablo. I'm actually very old. 300 years. I was carefully crafted by the master instrument maker Matteo Goffrilla in a studio in Venice with a beautiful view of the canal. As soon as I got a glimpse of the world, I knew I wanted to explore it. Quite a few talented musicians have played me throughout my life. One was named Pablo, like me. Pablo Casals is now known as one of the greatest cello players in history, a maestro, or master of music. But once he was just a boy in Spain, learning to play an instrument. Many instruments, in fact. His first cello was not me. It was not even a cello. Pablo learned to play the cello by using a gourd. Later, when Pablo finally met me, we became very close. He had other cellos, but I was his favorite. For more than 50 years, we traveled the world together, playing for royalty, presidents, and music lovers. Pablo called me his oldest and dearest friend. We made such beautiful music together. I was very sad when Pablo died as an old man. I can still feel the way his fingers flew like birds over me. I can still smell the pipe he used to smoke during his many hours of practicing. Pablo's wife, Marta, is a musician too, and she took very good care of me. From time to time, she would let other cellists play me. When they made music with me, I was so happy. Their hands weren't Pablo's hands, but I loved that I was useful again. Sometimes I forgot what my own voice sounded like, but they quickly helped me remember. But mostly, I rested and slept. Dreaming of when I would be played again. During those many years when I was quiet, a boy named Amit was growing up in Israel. He was more interested in playing basketball than playing an instrument, but he liked a girl who was learning to play the cello. Mm. He was too shy to talk to her, so he began taking cello lessons too. Hey, where are you going? Hey, come back here. Instead of falling in love with a girl, he fell in love with music. He listened to recordings that Pablo and I had made together over and over. I guess you could even say Amit fell in love with me. Just like Pablo had a century before, Amit studied, worked, and practiced hard. He moved to the United States and became a teacher, and a maestro himself. After some time, Marta heard about Amit and invited him to play me. In the beginning, we were both a little nervous, but we soon realized that we made a good match. Another day, Amit came back and played me again. And 
again and again. Finally, Marta told Amit that he could borrow me. Amit and I were both very excited to play together on stages all around the world. Since it had been a few hundred years since my last tune-up, I needed a little makeover. Expert cello doctors called luthiers opened me up, pulled me apart, and then put me back together again. Soon my voice was as good as new, better and stronger than ever. Now I know Amit's hands well, just as I once knew Pablo's. When we play the old songs I used to share with Pablo, and the audience listens and cheers, I feel as if I might burst with joy. Music is not only about playing notes or chords, symphonies or sonatas. Music tells a feeling, a story, a life. I may look like humble wood and strings, but I get to share my life and the lives of everyone who has ever touched me each time I make a sound. One day, another boy or girl will fall in love with music and take me around the world. Maybe that boy or girl could be you. Who knows what you will find if you only pick me up and play. The end. Thanks for listening to Classical Kids Storytime from APM, American Public Media. Thank you.